Just got these new lights in from ORE, really excited to put them in. Today we're gonna be installing them to the front, doing a few other changes as well. Excited to get these in. I just got these out of the wrapping the other day and uh, I was very excited to get them on. I had them sitting in my house for a couple of days and now it's time to actually put them in. Just wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm changing again. These are the third lights now I've gone for on the front and uh, I'll just go through a little bit about what each decision has been like when choosing the lights. So Boris came with some LED lights, sort of black like this with lots of mini LEDs. I'll show you a photo now. Those ones were very bright, but in fact too bright. They were cheap ones that came with a car. I suspect that the old ones broke before I got it and someone swapped to those. And I did like them at first, went off the sort of look, unfortunately. And uh, I found that everybody that went past the car would flash me and I'd almost be waiting for it every time in the dark when someone would come past. So even though they were angled properly in the MOT, they were just still too widespread, too bright, and it literally looked like you are on main beam, and I felt bad for everyone coming past. So what I did, I uh, installed the top lights there, as you can see, and I've got a video for that. They're ORE spots as well. So then I thought, then we've got full brightness from there. So we can go to some sort of more traditional looking and traditional working style lights, which I have done with LED bulbs. They work, but no better than the original lights with the original bulbs. And unfortunately, when I've been wading like this, they get filled up with water. They mist up, they flicker, and they are just so dim. And I do like the look of the sort of classic Defender thing, and it's always been a decision with me, like, should I go LED, should I go classic? I like the classic look, but these just work so well. Such good quality, don't let any water in that. It's a no-brainer, really, so that's why I'm gonna put them in today. As you can see here, laning the other day, and uh, yeah, the plastic took a bit of force from a branch that flicked up. I saw a bit of shatter of plastic from the front, and hoped it wasn't the grill or anything like that, but it's just this. So I'm using that to actually try out some series sort of style front surrounds, which are much smaller. I'll go and show you those now. So this is really just style. I guess you could say it's sort of substance because these are broken and these are made of metal. These are just sort of series 2A and 3 light surrounds. They are normally black, but I just brush painted them the other day. And I uh, have seen a, quite a few people around with them and uh, it's sort of a style choice, but I'm gonna give them a try and see how they look. And yeah, I'm excited to get these on as well, actually. Get an idea of what it's gonna look like there. Should be quite cool. So first things first, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. All uh, Phillips, so it's much easier than doing it by hand. Much easier with the drill, obviously. So I'm actually gonna have to admit a mistake here. What I did was when I did these LEDs, I was like, oh, that'd be a good idea to solder them in. But I didn't actually include a connector in that. So I'm gonna have to cut a slot out of the plastic here to remove this completely, which is a bit silly of me, but uh, at least the new ones will go on without having to mess around with that too much. So I grinded that one, this one just literally falls apart. So yeah, this one's already broken. They're very cheap, so it might be wasteful, but they are gonna go in the bin because they're broken already. So that's good. So here, I thought I was gonna have to drill holes, but actually they're already there. Must've been left over from the series days. Pretty easy. You can see here, I've got a um, metal grill. I like the look of that. I might put those back on in the future, but for now I'm gonna leave them off. Just, uh, that's just held on with garden wire. So not gonna be too hard to take off. So I've got a bit of degreaser here and some soap as well. Give that a bit of a clean up. Obviously lots of uh, red mud around here from our lanes wading as well. So I'm actually quite impressed with how well this is cleaning up. It'd be cool to see in the comments what options you've gone for, like halogen original style lights, or LED lights or spotlights, what combination or what you're planning to do anyway. I haven't got um, wire cutters, so I'm gonna have to try and bodge this, see how we go. There you go. Easy as that. Oh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> the wire's stronger than the light. Crikey. Oh goodness. <laughs> so I bought these uh, second hand on eBay. They already came with the LED lights. And uh, yeah, LED lights are pretty rubbish. They've actually got fans in, which is not what you want on a Defender when you're wading and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited to not have fans on the back and also not have loads of water in as well. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, get rid of those. So here's the old light with the light surround on. I just pulled it off and broke it, so I have to glue it back on to the car. But what you do, you just undo these little clips, which I actually clipped on before making a note actually on the top, which is sort of this tab and then the angled bit, that's a good way to remember. Slowly undo those, it pops out. This one's very muddy, get rid of that one. And then you have a new one, look at that. That is very exciting. So on the light, there's these little metal tabs sticking out. You can sort of see them raised and they are what the clip actually rests on to hold it in place more securely. So that's quite an easy way of um, making sure that you've got the right orientation so it doesn't look all wonky. So have to make sure it's all clicked in nicely round. There you go. just the same as it was before and these are for the DRLs, the day running lights and that's what this bit here is you can see that there that can just light up either um, with a switch of your choosing there are certain regulations but um, you can look that up yourself day running lights with the side lights can be a bit dodgy but if you find a live wire that comes on with the ignition the heater for example lots of different things you could actually have that running any time the car's on and that would look quite cool but uh, I'm going to sort that out later have a think about what I want to do and just wire it into the mains for now and then maybe do these into the side lights in the future but yeah let's put them in it's just this connector obviously very simple you could uh, tape it if you want I've actually got some in the car and uh, this is very old and dodgy so I'm going to do that I'll go and grab some electrical tape would be best but uh, I've just got this duct tape for now and that will do don't have any electrical in the car duct tape saves all so we need to do is just wrap it around there a it will stop it from wiggling loose and also stop water or as much water from going into the uh, gap if you ever go off-road or wading which it does <laughs> so just feed that all back in there and then now all we have to do is try and slot it onto the old screws as it was before and there sits in all you need now is the extra screw that came with it and your screwdriver and uh, put that one in there simple there you go nice and easy that's really cool loving the way that looks just a note make sure when you do it back up and you put it back on these bolts top and bottom they got a little groove in the end it sits in that channel so you can adjust it for the MOT so make sure you do that so when fitting these, what you want to do is have the grooves top and in to the grill because that's where the two bolts to adjust it for the MOT are and it leaves those available to be tuned up. So yeah, nice and easy. Look at that, there you go. Wow, let's just do these uh, indicators up and then we'll have a proper look. There you go, look. The final look. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cool.
Actually, that fits even better. <laughs> look at that, it's cool. A new look. Look at that. Both lights in, both surrounds on, new look. That's pretty cool, I'm really excited for that. Right, so now we're actually gonna have a proper look at what they look like. Uh, we're gonna have a look at side beam, dip beam and full beam. So let's have a look. Side, main and full beam. That's pretty cool. So obviously the side lights are only the uh, top ones here. And I think I will do the DRLs in with those side lights because it'd be cool to see these little U-shaped bits lighting up at the same time. Definitely gonna do that in the future. And uh, yeah, that'd be like, really cool. And if you wire them in with uh, spade connectors, then you can disconnect them if you want to. Not only do they look good, but they actually work extremely well as well. That's one of my main considerations was actually having proper usable lights down here. That'd be great to use without the top lights. You know, if you're in town, on the main roads, or just, you know, when you're going along. Really looking forward to testing these out. So here we go, out on our little test. And <laughs> I'm already blown away. So this is a dip beam. Uh, it may not be fully aligned properly, but it's looking absolutely fantastic. You can see there's a very sort of straight line, which is great because that means no one's gonna get dazzled by them. And uh, it's very crisp. So if we move into the full beam, that is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. There you go. So just dip them down. See, no problems at all. And then back up again, driving down. And then we can have the spotlights on as well if you want. And then spotlights off. This is absolutely fantastic. The difference from those original lights is crazy. It's a shame I don't have any footage to show you the difference. So first impressions of these lights, absolutely brilliant. Loving the way that the dip beam works with that very straight edge, not dazzling anyone and having a very bright floor so you can see where you're going. Moving into full beam there, you'll be able to see all the way down the road. It's absolutely fantastic. Such a difference from what I'm used to. So I got these direct from ORE. They arrived in one day and I installed them the day after. Really easy to install. Always with ORE, there's great customer service. So make sure if you've got any questions, either ask me or ask at ORE and uh, use Boris 5 at checkout if you want a little bit of money off. I'm hoping that this helped you with your decision and uh, I can tell that I'm really happy with the way they are. So I hope that you can test them out yourself and uh, be able to see for once in the dark. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.